Grenada police and the sheriff spoke out about the weekend hostage situation that led to one death. Authorities actually held that press conference today that WTVA carried live at noon. WTVA's Chris Knowles was at the press conference and he has the latest details on this investigation. Chris? Tanya, I'm here at the Walgreens where everything happened. Um, step out the way and show you this door. That's where 39 year old Bradley Hatcher came out of and that's where he was shot. Now, this wasn't the only thing that happened earlier today. The uh, authorities here, police chief George Douglas, as, as well as Sheriff Orlando Fair, held a press conference here to clarify some things and give some details. Chief George Douglas tells us that 39 year old Bradley Hatcher uh, was shot by the Mississippi Highway Patrol SWAT team. This happened as Hatcher was coming out of Walgreens after a four hour standoff. Douglas says that he was holding a handgun with the hostage nearby. Douglas also says that there were only two hostages, one guy and one lady. He says that there were both, they were both physically unharmed. Uh, he also says he confirmed that Hatcher suffered with a mental illness. It's a great concern for us because the fact that we understand that sometimes uh, citizens have mental health issues, but however, when it becomes deadly, we have to we have to proceed in the manner that we did uh, dealing with this situation. And we don't like do that want? we're not happy with that none whatsoever. We can't answer the question is what is the answer to mental health. I'm I am not professionally prepared to answer that question. The only thing what the sheriff and I work together to do is co coordinate efforts to provide protection for our community. Hatcher's family tells us that he was schizophrenic and that he suffered with bipolar disorder and PTSD. Now coming up on WTVA 9 News at 6, we will have a live interview with those family members, the mother and father of Hatcher. But coming up on WTVA 9 News at 5, we will talk to a business owner. The business owner is actually the owner of this plaza of businesses here in Grenada. He witnessed it all go down and he's going to tell us, you know, what it was like witnessing all of that here on WTVA 9 News at 5. Reporting live here in Grenada, Chris Knowles, WTVA 9 News.